All right, let's see who's up. It's already in the afternoon. Aloha, it's Dr. Melona here. There's Matt. Hey, Matt. I'm here at the Pacific Endoscopy Center, and I'm here for my colonoscopy as promised. Uh, thanks, Karen, for the idea. You saw me prep, and uh, it wasn't that bad, actually. The, the prep, the actual bowel prep um, liquid was much better at chilled, so I do recommend that. And I did do the unflavored polyethylene glycol, so uh, like I told you yesterday, very slight, slight seawater type hint of salt solution in there, but after a while you just don't taste it anymore. And then you're just more um, inclined to just uh, go to the toilet and get rid of the, what's in your, in your guts. So that worked very well. Hey Jerry, what's going on man? Good to see you. Hi Carol. So I am here in the endoscopy room. Like I said, this is Matt, who's uh, pretty much going to monitor me. Although, as you all know already, I'm going to be unsedated. Um, I'd say the vast majority of folks do this sedated because uh, it's just usually much more comfortable that way. But uh, I do trust my doctor, <clears throat> Dr. Robert Wong. Robert Francis Wong is the number one gastroenterologist here in the state of Hawaii. Um, in fact, um, he's the best one here in this room right now, myself included. So we also have our wonderful nurse and tech. We have uh, Gladys. Hi, Gladys. And there's Say Wong. Hi to everybody. There's Dr. Wong. And there's Matt. Matt, I got you on already. We already have four viewers here. I'm sure we'll get more. All right. So I decided again, everyone, thank you for uh, joining me to. Um, hey, thanks, Jerry. Um, uh, he says good luck to Dr. Wong. But, uh, <laughs> he won't need it. He's highly, highly skilled. He's done a couple of these before. Hey, Joan. So, Joanne, um, again, this is a guy, you know. I'm getting this done. I'm not 50 yet. I'm I'm only 46, but I do had I did have some symptoms. Hey Tony, what's up? Back from the Olympics, um, and I, uh, you know, I just decided to get this done and, and take a look. And I I'm glad to share this with you. So we'll go step by step. I'm not going to show you anything that's inappropriate because I don't want to get banned from Facebook. And mostly this is just to share with you uh, the experience. I know a lot of you have probably had colonoscopies before or are going for it. Nothing to be scared about. It's a very safe procedure. You know, really less than 1% chance, one in a thousand chance for any complications like bleeding, infection, perforation. Um, and of course, I'm not even, even going to be sedated, so, you know, the side effects or adverse effects from sedation can, can um, be a consideration. In this case, it's not. So that's it. Just getting my vitals right now. And, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. Not really. <laughs> Not really. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining. And we'll be getting started shortly. I guess I have to assume the left lateral position. Dr. Wong. Thank you. There's Dr. Wong right there. Take good care of me, Dr. Wong. This is what we do for our new recruits. <laughs> have to have a colonoscopy. Unsedated. Unsedated. If you can get through, then, then, then you'll be considered. So... <laughs> Hey, Nancy. Oh, wonderful. Your husband's getting it done in two weeks. Awesome. He'll do awesome. Don't and I will let you know what to expect. We're going to raise the bed. So, and I'll show you. This is the screen. This is uh, uh, where Dr. Wong will be doing his work. And then I'll show you. That's the screen. I can actually zoom in a little bit. That's where the scope is. That's the, the camera. I'll wait till it's kind of in. But, uh,. All right, thank you. And um, yep, so we're just getting ready here, putting a little pad under there, and gonna get ready. So of course, it always starts with a a good rectal exam. You have to make sure that you inspect, and then really looking for any. Um, abnormal lesions or <clears throat> any blood or masses, things like that. That's usually the first part. And um, <clears throat> I'll go from there. Hey, what's up, Marissa? How's it going? Samantha, thanks for uh, joining me. <laughs> really do appreciate that. I'm going to put the screen on so you're just not looking at my face right. the whole time. Yeah. This is going to be a little bit of cold, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of pressure. It's going in now. There's the rectal exam. Ah, not too bad. He's very gentle. Holy moly. That was uh, unusually long for a rectal exam. Um, all right. It's going in now. Okay, so 
We are now, um, I'm going to share this. All right. Yeah, Samantha, health is important. Um, okay, we're going in. You can see uh, the colonoscopy. So there's an insertion tube with a camera and it's got a channel. And uh, he's basically going to drive it into my colon. I can feel it already. About three centimeters in is the anal canal and about 10 centimeters in is the rectum. And he's um, making his way through this, uh, the first part of the colon, which is the sigmoid colon. Uh, it's very interesting. I mean, it really doesn't feel that bad. I'm yeah. so funny. You mean my colon looks funny, TC? Oh, I'm so funny. Yeah, thanks. I'm a funny guy, but look, looks on everything. But so he's going in. He, so Rob is going very fast. He's actually, like I told you, he's one of the best uh, colonoscopists in the world, and uh, which is why I decided to do it with him. Um, we do use, just to let you know, I do feel a little bit of distension here and there only because we do insufflate to uh, make sure that the uh, colon can, can open up for you. Um, and as he's driving it through, uh, there is a little sense of like, like I have to pass gas. Um, I feel it kind of in my lower abdomen. I feel it there. Uh, I feel like gas. Yeah, I do. I feel it. And then, uh, but actually, you know, the insertion doesn't feel that bad. He's going up probably now past, you know, the descending colon, probably getting up into the uh, transverse colon. Um, you know, the transverse colon kind of looks, he might not be there yet, but you might see a triangular shape. Those are the longitudinal muscles that are called the tinea coli that run along the colon. But um, let me show you face for a second. Like I said, it's actually not that bad. Uh, I do feel a sense of having to go to the, like, passing gas, but uh, again, that's normal as, as you're getting insufflated with gas. Um, again, we tend to use here, we use uh, carbon dioxide, which gets absorbed by the body, so it won't be so um, uncomfortable for patients when we're done. When you use air, it just kind of can get stuck in there. Um, hey, Cedar, what's going on? Um, yeah, again, it's kind of an interesting feeling. Again, I don't really feel anything, just a little pressure down uh, near the anal canal. Mostly right now, I just feel air a little bit. Uh, it's not not painful it just feels full um, as you can see the there's some bubbles in there but there's absolutely no stool you can see it's already in my my uh, transverse colon like I told you it kind of looks like a um, uh, you see the triangular shape um, and you can see he's trying to get in uh, past that area there um, just looking at it, it looks like there's no stool whatsoever oh I can feel like the scope inside that's amazing I think we're at the hepatic flexure maybe he's just getting past that point maybe drawn back to get to the ascending colon. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Again, not painful, just, just uh, I feel the scope inside me, but it's not um, not painful. And it helps Rob that it's, uh, that it's uh, clean. If you're not clean, it's actually uh, not a good idea to do a colonoscopy, because uh, there's poor visualization and, and uh, can be very uh, bad if something bad happens. Now you can see down the, we're in the ascending colon and Rob is already at the end, which is the uh, cecum, which is at the farthest part of the colon, uh, the, the most proximal part, just just outside the uh, end of your small intestine. He's cleaning up a little bit. Um, hey Skip, what's going on? Hey Jenna, Dr. Rajnish Kellen, what's up buddy? So you can see he's cleaning up. Um, some of the things you have to document, photo document will be the uh, appendiceal orifice, that little dot right in the center of the screen. That little dimple there is the appendiceal orifice. And um, you can actually pull back and there he'll be able to look at and see where the ileocecal valve is, which will be uh, most likely at the top of the screen. Um, and you can see that's the opening to the small intestine. That's the ileocecal valve at the We're top of the screen. The small intestine. Yeah, I think so. I think Rob's going to go take a look inside the, uh, the end of my small intestine, which is the uh, terminal ileum. There's duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. We're going to the very end of the terminal ileum right there. He's getting into the ileocecal valve, and he's, you can see already the mucosa looks more like a shag carpet. Um, and that's, there you are. That's like the, uh, my small intestine, which is pretty cool. KG, what up, brother? How you doing, man? You've seen a couple of these. KG's my, uh, my brother, tech from the Brooklyn Hospital Center. What's up, my brother? So you've seen a couple of these, right, KG? What, about 50,000? So, um... So there you have it. This is like um, a treat for you. I just got a, a complete colonoscopy uh, plus uh, the end of my small intestine. So now Rob is, uh, Dr. Wong is, is now um, pretty pretty riveting, right everyone? Uh, he's gonna be doing the really most important part here, uh, which is the, uh, the withdrawal part. He's gonna withdraw out of the colon. 
making sure to inspect and clean out any debris. He's looking behind all these folds, looking for any polyps, any abnormalities. You can see it's an excellent technique. That's why I chose this gentleman. Um, let's see, some more comments here. Jenna, it's great. And I'm taking the fear out of this and showing how complication-free these usually are. Absolutely, they are absolutely very, very low complication rate. In fact, uh, if you look at some of the data, one in a thousand, that's 0.1%, less than 1% folks for any major complications like uh, bleeding, perforation, or even some type of infection. Um, and you can see wonderful technique. He's, what is called is called working the folds, like a, a deck of cards. He's pulling the folds back, looking behind them, going in, going back, obsessively looking at these things because that's where you can miss things that uh, uh, polyps that may be precancers that could become cancer down the road. Oh, my wonderful voice coach, Karen, how are you? Uh, I would be singing high C's right now, but uh, it might be inappropriate as we're doing this colonoscopy. I don't want to distract Dr. Wong from doing his work. So I could try. There's, there's Dr. Wong. You can see he's working very hard. There he is right there. Hey, Dr. Wong. How's it going? How you having fun there, Dr. Wong? Yeah. Isn't this Just to let everyone know, I did this to, I did this a couple weeks ago, but I did it sedated. <laughs> I was smarter than Dr. Ona here. Yes, it's, that's true. Yeah, he did it sedated, which is what we highly recommend you do. And, um, and he had a clean bill of health. So, um, hey, David, what's going on? So, Karen, yes, I uh, know high C's today, I guess, um, but maybe later. Um, let's see, I'll go back and take a look. So, what, what do we see so far? It's doing great. You can see... Near your Probably around the hepatic flexure, which is still, you know, the, the right side of the colon, hepatic flexure that will turn from the ascending colon to the transverse colon, and still checking. And now, you know, really I have no discomfort at all, zero. Um, he's been using a, a good amount of lubrication to make sure the insertion tube is passing nice and comfortably. You can see he uses water for irrigation that helps uh, things slide and, and and cleans things up quite nicely, and uh, and again, and trying to aspirate any any last rem remnants of the prep. It's not perfect. I have a little bit of uh, some, you know, little specks here and there you can see, but but nothing really solid. That stuff will get washed off and and suctioned in no problem. And you can see he's still working the folds. You can see in my finger here. I'll show you just working those folds. That's your folds that he's working on. Working out. How we doing, Matt? You okay? All right, doing great. Nice really working hard this game. This is this is one of the hardest ones I've had to do today. <laughs> yeah, working hard there. Just watching the monitor. That's basically uh, all we have to worry about at this point, thankfully. Looks like we're on our way from the uh, now. There's the transverse colon, and looking at the vasculature, looking at the mucosa. Everything looks pretty good. No lumps or bumps, anything there. All right. Anthony, Duzemi, what's up, buddy? Hey, Masood, good to see you. So yeah, it's not often you get to see yourself inside and out, but uh, yeah, you can see that we're probably making our way through the transverse colon, um, as I pointed out. And there's a, there's a colon moves around, you got some peristalsis. But again, really important everyone to know that this is you know, colon, colon cancer is a preventable cancer. How many cancers do we know about that could be prevented? You know, and that's why it's very important to uh, when it's when you're due to get it done. So, and how do you get? How do you prevent colon cancer? Well, exactly what we're doing here. If, if Dr. Wong were to find some polyp in my colon, and if, and if it happens to be precancerous, well, he takes it out and he just prevented that polyp that grows from becoming cancer down the road possibly. So that's how we can prevent it. And again, you know, I, I mentioned it yesterday, uh, Aloha Stadium here in Honolulu, about 50,000 people can fit in that stadium. Uh, more than that, people will die every year. A stadium full of people will die every year of colon cancer. So, uh, and this is a preventable cancer. So I really uh, urge you all to uh, don't be afraid, get it done. It's a, it's a very safe exam. And as you can see, uh, you would be very comfortable, even more comfortable than me when you get it done sedated. So, making our way out here, looks pretty good. I don't know if this is a uh, descending colon or uh, uh, I think it's still transverse. Yeah, yeah, we're still in the transverse. Still making his way out. So, 
and uh, looks quite good. So far, so good. And, uh, yeah. And so I, you know, just to let you know about the prep, I, I finished the prep this morning. I got up around close to three o'clock and I chugged the rest of it, um, uh, the, the other half gallon uh, within about an hour or so. And I finished the, uh, the last bit of it no later than 4.30 this morning. So, um, and then it really starts to work right away. I think it started working right after I finished the live feed yesterday, it started to work. So, yeah. So here we are. Hey Sue, what's going on? Mario, what's up my brother? Oh yes, you've seen a couple of these as well, right? Over at Cedar Sinai, my man, you saw a couple of these. So, no big polyps here, yet at least. All right, looks like we're over at the Splenic Fletcher now. So you can see we're at uh, the corner here from the transverse colon and the descending colon. So you'll see the fluid will tend to pool. I'm on my left side, so it's gonna pool. Uh, you'll know that we'll be in the descending colon, which is uh, in the back, which is in the paracolic gutter. It's, uh, hey, Amanda. So here we are, probably making our way down. It's real good. Again, very comfortable, very good. What's up, Daniel? How many of you have gotten colonoscopies yet? Anyone here watching? Hey, Sidra Nikatima. Yeah, this feels like we're almost done here, folks. I'm telling you, it's, it's really not that bad. Just some, uh, we're probably, it looks like descending colon maybe, or I mean the sigmoid. Yeah, starting to get the sigmoid. Sigmoid, yeah, we're starting the sigmoid. Yeah. We're almost out of here, folks. Dr. Wong's making his great escape here. We'll be uh, finishing up shortly. Alright. Alright. Bad. Making our way through. Alright. Checking behind those folds. Yeah, Mario, that's true. Music would have been pretty cool, but uh, <laughs> should have had some music. Yeah, we should have. What, kind of, what kind of song should we have had? I don't know. What'd you say? Highway to Hell? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I know. We usually do play music, though. I personally like Mozart. Something nice and light. Yeah. A little pressure. A little pressure. I feel a little pressure. He's trying to get make sure he gets into that. Checks everything. Yeah, it's just an interesting feeling. Just again, it feels like I have to pass gas. It's really not uncomfortable at all. Um, yeah, it looks like we're in the sigmoid colon. We've got thicker, kind of thicker walls here. You know, we see that. Um, and it's a little, maybe a little more uh, tortuous here and there, but uh, once we get out of here, we'll be into the, the rectum and then, and then uh, one last maneuver and we'll be done. So almost done here, folks. Almost here. Oh, we got there. We got a tick. Oh, look at that. We have a little bit of a diverticulum. See that little pocket? That's quite common. A little, I call them ticks for short. Diverticulum, little outpouchings in the mucosa. And as you get older, like myself, you can get more of them. Um, you probably heard of things like diverticulitis. Um, some people can actually bleed from these, um, which is painless bleeding because they herniate into arteries, but. Just a small one, nothing to be uh, concerned about, but I definitely will continue to have my high fiber diet. And uh, I kind of like the clean colon. <laughs> I've never had yeah, it so it's clean. Nice. It's, it's not bad, yeah. right, to have a nice clean colon. So we're almost at the end here. Now uh, Dr. Wong's gonna do, uh, when we get to the uh, rectum to do, once we're in the rectal vault, he's gonna do a, a retroflexion. 
Well, I always had uh, some challenges with that because that's a, a kind of a maneuver that you look back onto the scope as it's entering so you can check the, uh, you know, the entire rectal vault. So we're almost there. Just a couple more, uh, couple more uh, centimeters, if not. There's a couple valves, so the valves of Houston will be there. What's up, Izzy? How you doing? Hope you open went well, my brother. 18.1 in the books. All right, we're almost there. I think this is it. This is the rectal vault. He's gonna do uh, the maneuver, which is called a retroflexion. Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, that's a really interesting feeling, yeah. All right, that's it. That's the last piece. He's gonna look back onto his scope and take a look. All right, there it is. You can see the scope entering. You'll see it. It's coming. It's coming. That's the scope coming out of the, uh, like entering. You can actually see a little bit right there. Is okay now? Yeah, it feels fine. There it is. There you go. Ah, not too bad. Maybe he's falling in like we'll see. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's okay. I'm going to try another retro here. We can see he's going to really take a good look. Try to get a better position here. is coming out here. There you go. That's pretty good. You can see. Right there. Alright. That is it. That is the end of it. Maybe small hemorrhoids. Maybe not. But no masses or anything. And that should be about it. He's going to desufflate. And that will be the end of it. Alright. Just taking some air out. Coming out. Feels good. That is the end of it, folks. Wow. Alright. That is it. Yeah, thanks, Izzy. Hey, thanks so much, KG. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Hey, Kathy, how you doing? Thanks, Dr. Wong. Thank All you, right. Rob. Have a great day. Hey, thank you. Matt, thanks again. No problem. Appreciate you did it. great. Oh, I felt so comfortable with that. <laughs> the best sedation ever. <laughs> Hi, C. Waiting. I will, I will try that. Hi, see you soon. Thank you, Gladys. You're welcome, Dr. Thank you so much. Everyone, that's it. I'll talk to you again. Peace. Love you all. Bye.